Hi everybody, it's Cindy at Upcycle Design Lab. Today I'm going to take you through another Easter decoration project using a thrift store canvas and some eggshells to make some art. So if you like crafting with recycled materials, I hope you'll consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and also check the bell icon to get notifications when I upload new videos. To start the bunny silhouette picture, I just used a used canvas. Here's a quick picture of it. So here's the new canvas. I've just taken my gray house paint left over from a house project and put a coat of gray paint on top of the canvas. And I have my little piece of art that I want to transfer onto my canvas. And to do that, I'm going to use this um, easy tracer that I got. Uh, it's made by Artigraph. I think it was about $30. I haven't used it before, so I'm going to see how well it works. I can't really show you how it works because you have to kind of do the tracing part in the dark. But I will be back once I have my art enlarged and sketched onto my canvas. Alright, so I'm in my basement. I decided to try and show you a quick shot of how I have this set up. I'm just a few feet away and I have a little ledge to set my canvas on so that's helpful. And you can see that I have a nice large bunny shape that I'm going to try and trace now with a white gel pen. I'm not sure how well it's going to show up but I'm going to go ahead and give that a try. So here's my rabbit silhouette sketched out on my canvas. And just a couple of thoughts about that. Normally I think when you use the, the uh, tracing machine you kind of tape a piece of paper to the wall and then it doesn't move. So there was a little bit of shifting that happened on my canvas. I had to kind of push it back into the right spot. And the other thing is that you have to be pretty gentle on a canvas because you're working with a loose kind of piece of fabric. So my plan is to do sort of an eggshell silhouette with this. So I've been saving a lot of eggshells and I wasn't exactly sure how this was going to work but I've done a little experimental spot right here for the tail and I think I've kind of figured out a good way to do it. So the first step is to take your eggshells and once again because you're working on a canvas you don't want to break them on the canvas because that would sort of push the canvas and stretch it out. So one thing, you want to make sure you have cleaned your eggshells, you want to make sure they're nice and dry, and then it's not critical, but if you have the loose sort of paper membrane, you can try to sort of pull that out. And then I just have a little dish here that I'm going to break some small pieces of eggshell in. So I'm just going to kind of crush them into small pieces. So once I have a few nice small pieces, I'm going to prep a tiny spot on my canvas to place all of these little pieces. So for this step, I have my little broken up eggshells. I'm going to be using some Elmer's glue, a small paintbrush, and I want some water as well. So I'm just going to prepare a little area with some Elmer's glue. And then I'm going to add quite a bit of water because you want to be able to really shift the eggshells around and move them with the paintbrush to get them in place. And then I'm just going to sprinkle the eggshells kind of where I want them. And gently push them into place with the paintbrush. So it's a little time consuming, but it's a fairly simple process. 
And I'm starting at the bottom because I'm not entirely sure if I want to put an eye on the rabbit or try to just keep it a total silhouette. But I'm going to kind of decide that as I go along. Alright, I'm not sure if I'm going to love this or hate it, but I went ahead and freeformed some little grass uh, blades and a couple of eggs to add some color to my design because I have also dyed these egg colors using some of the dyes that I used in the paper project a couple of weeks ago. So I just wanted to add some color to it. Um, I'm not sure if my drawing is very good, but um, I'm just going to go for it. All right, I have a few final thoughts while I'm finishing up my little rabbit's head here. One of them is that uh, you're gonna wanna use at least a 50-50, maybe even more water than that um, mix of the glue and the water, because you really want just kind of a slurry of glue and water that you can drop the eggshell pieces into. And I've started dropping them kind of far apart so that I can just slide them into place and they're not laying on top of each other as much. And then I'm just pushing them, I have kind of a stiff brush here, and I'm just pushing them into place as close as I can and trying not to overlap them. The other thing I found is I broke up my eggshells pretty small, but I am ending up actually kind of crushing them even a little bit more. Like this piece is way too big. So as I'm dropping it in the glue, I want to kind of break it again. If you find that you're having trouble moving the pieces, just keep your brush pretty wet with water. And then you can just sort of glide them into place. They're kind of floating in the glue mixture and then you can just slide them into place. And if you get too if you get it too wet you can soak up some of the moisture with some paper towel. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the head and I'll be back in a little bit for the final finishing touches. So I finished gluing all my eggshells to my canvas and just a note of caution, I did use Kool-Aid to color some of my eggshells 
and you can see the purple bled a little bit uh, the green also bled a little bit so you might want to do some color testing before you uh, do yours if you do use colored eggshells I also added a little bit of green to the bottom of the rabbit and the eggs so that he didn't look like he was floating around in space but that is pretty much it there were a couple of spots on the canvas that I went back and touched up with some gray paint and then the last step was to just gently apply a coat of Mod Podge which you want to be pretty careful about the eggshells are kind of rough and the sponge that I used to apply the Mod Podge with kind of got caught on the eggshells so you can see that I'm just sort of dabbing it on pretty heavily and then just trying to carefully smooth it out as I'm applying the Mod Podge so here's the finished rabbit you can see that the Mod Podge adds a little bit of shine to the canvas and it helps to hold the eggshells on as well. I hope you enjoyed this project. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and also checking out my blog at www.upcycledesignlab.com.